Hi, my name is Peter Coffin, and Vosh has provided us with a perfect example of why no ethical consumption under capitalism is a bullshit phrase. So I have to set some stuff up before we get into the Vosh stuff. Stick with me for a minute. It's important. Now, when I talk about ethical consumption, I don't think there is ethical consumption, and I don't think there is unethical consumption. I think the people who make the argument about ethical consumption like to talk about how, well, all of the things necessary to create a, a commodity are unethical, and thus the consumption itself, if we're going to talk about it from an ethical perspective, is also unethical, and therefore you can't be impugned for it because you don't have a choice. You have to engage in unethical things. I think that's bullshit. So consumption and production are both necessary aspects of society. It, it's just not possible to have society without producing the things that society needs. Similarly, the society consumes those things. That's how it expresses that need. It is the mode of production which is the problem. And I argue it's not even a problem due to ethics. Certainly, one can say X, Y, and Z is unethical. Exploitation is unethical. Coercion is unethical. Absolutely. Those things are true, but they're not my argument against capitalism. I'll make that argument in a few minutes. Uh, let's get through the Vosh aspect of this first, though. So, you know, there's pedophiles, right, who buy child pornography. Mm -hmm. Would you say they should not be held responsible for doing that? Yes. Really? Even though mm -hmm. they're directly supporting child rape? Yeah, I think that's it's uh, it's hypocritical. If, if I, I, cause I bought my computer and the silicon in it was farmed in Africa by slaves. If I can do that and that's legal that's... and that one's going to call me out my shit, then yeah, I have to be consistent in that respect. Okay. Look, um, bitch, you just made vegan gains look normal. You don't have to make any argument about why that's wrong. Child sex abuse material is just self-evidently a serious problem. Children uh, shouldn't be looked at as having the ability to consent to sexual acts, and therefore it should all be regarded as abuse at the bare minimum. Uh, so there's not really anything to discuss regarding the content itself. But what I want to discuss is, is, is how that's, that's not consistent at all. So the mode of production is the problem in uh, cobalt mining. If you resolve the contradictions that put a small class of people in control of everything, uh, cobalt mining could be done fine. With child sex abuse material, the mode of production is not the problem. You cannot produce child sex abuse material without uh, abusing children sexually. But Vosh absolutely does not see it that way. To quote Vosh, the way I see it, the age of consent exists out of respect for the numerous power imbalances older people have over younger people. As those imbalances, or at least some of them, are redressed through the advent of socialism, the age of consent should therefore be lowered. So, that's a big problem. First off, adults like parents absolutely should have power imbalances. Around the age of three, my daughter was absolutely batshit insane and wanted to run into the road. Every chance she got, she would try. And every time she tried, I exercised my power over her in stopping her from running into the fucking road like a moron. I said this in the last video. I don't think absolutely every single instance of authority is automatically bad. I think that some types of authority are bad. That type of authority, quite good, actually. Socialism, might I add, will not redress that power relationship. It's not what socialism is for. And this is why I've been fervently arguing against idealism for such a long time now. These people think socialism, hell, they think capitalism and power and, and, and these dynamics and relationships, they think that this is about ethics, and it's not. In fact, I would argue that whether it's socialism or capitalism, once you make ethics the driving force behind it, you're going to start having huge problems because, guess what? Ethics are fucking relative. The advent of socialism would basically be 
addressing a contradiction put forward by Marx and Engels. From socialism, utopian, and scientific, the means of production and production itself had become, in essence, socialized. But they were subjected to a form of appropriation which presupposes the private production of individuals, under which, therefore, everyone owns his own product and brings it to market. The mode of production, which is socialized, is subjected to this form of appropriation, which is individualized, although it abolishes the conditions upon which the latter rests. He's referring to feudalism. Um, this mode of production ended feudalism. This contradiction, which gives to the new mode of production its capitalistic character, contains the germ of the whole of the social antagonisms of today. This contradiction is the defining characteristic of capitalism. It's capitalism if this characteristic exists. Production is socialized, uh, in other words, the conditions for socialism actually exist, but appropriation is individualized and the incentives and rewards revolve explicitly around uh, the ownership of the winning property. In other words, the way we do our transactions don't match the way we do our production. Further, this contradiction creates a serious problem uh, when you introduce automation, which is naturally going to happen as society progresses, so does technology. Because human life is valuable, that's where labor comes from. The time and effort that we spend in our lives making things, that's what imbues them with actual value. And as you introduce automation, the value of something uh, and thus the potential price of something goes down. At the exact same time, less people get jobs, uh, less people have money, and it doesn't matter that the price goes down. So to compensate for the fact that the thing is cheaper, capitalists make more of it and attempt to sell more of it, but they can't. And the reason for that is the working class's wealth is reducing. It's reducing faster than the value of products, and there are more products. This is a value crisis, what Marx calls the crisis of overproduction. It's not just capitalists making too much stuff. Oh my god, the earth can't handle all this stuff. That's not overproduction, at least not in the Marxist sense. In the idiot sense, sure, fine, but not the Marxist one. <laughs> but that's the problem with capitalism. It's not it's exploitative or it's immoral or there's greedy people. I don't give a shit about that. I'm not against people having wealth. In fact, I want everyone to have wealth. And when I say wealth, I don't necessarily mean money. I mean abundance, just that. And, and it's entirely possible too. Like we can do all of this shit without fucking the planet up. Like a lot of people say, we can do all this shit without overpopulating. That's horse shit as well. We can do abundance. We already do abundance. We just do it in a way that's stupid. We do abundance in a way that it creates scarcity because that scarcity is necessary to force the economy to work. This is why I'm so against idealism and looking at capitalism as a problem of ethics or morality or any of that. There is a material contradiction that mathematically creates crisis. That's the problem with fucking capitalism. A, a socialist utopia is not one where you abolish the power adults have over children and therefore the age of consent should be lowered. What the fuck is wrong with you, you stupid piece of shit? No ethical consumption under capitalism is your excuse to do shit that's unethical. That's what it is. In order to be consistent, child porn has to not be a problem because it's produced in capitalism. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's fucking disgusting. Vosh repeatedly says this is just an ineffective argument against cobalt mining, but it's not. Like the platonic ideal of a bad faith Vosh is a pedophile takedown, including like five years ago, like stuff that's been addressed so long, the most obviously hateful bad faith stuff that I've seen, which means it's already addressed. There are videos on it. There's an effort to make it seem as though I hide everything. You know what I mean? Like, like, uh, like all of this is like a deep dive or secret information that has been uncovered that's never been addressed before because I don't want you to see it. Why does he keep talking about it? Because people keep bringing it up.
people bring it up in debates people bring it up in chat it gets addressed over and over i i don't get how you think that addressing it makes it better oh it's already been addressed it's already been addressed yeah fuck you anyway if it'd been addressed in a way where a you nullified your entire argument rather than called it ineffective uh and b never ended up with uh horse lolly porn Maybe it's already been addressed would be a better defense. But uh, hey, guess what? That's not how things shook out. And although the left is now trying to distance itself from Vosh now, he has been a voice of the left that they have defended so vehemently for such a long time now. There's a reason he's a big name. There's a reason he has over 400,000 subscribers and gets tons of views on his videos. It's because he is ultimately a big voice of the left. And again, I am repeatedly advocating for the idea of dropping the left. Left? Right? It's all idealism. It's all deviations from the progress of history. History moves forward. We do not need these ideologies. We need dialectical materialism, the identification of contradictions, and the resolution of them. To put it another way, we need to stop doing deductive reasoning with history and the future and instead use inductive reasoning. Instead of trying to come up with a conclusion and work towards it, what we need to do is search for things in what exists currently and do what we can. And somebody will say, well, that's not very revolutionary. Uh, actually, it completely is, because in the course of this video, I identified the defining contradiction of capitalism. We have to resolve that. And when we do resolve that, we will move to the next stage of society. Theoretically, the higher mode of production we would achieve by resolving that contradiction is called socialism or communism or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Who gives a shit? If we resolve that contradiction and abundance is suddenly available to all and you call it capitalism plus, I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter to me. While all of these leftists who don't operate on this materialist conception of the problem of capitalism, while all of them might disavow Vosh because, yes, this is unethical, horrible shit, the disavowal doesn't matter because it's just having a position on something without a material grounding for it. This is the same shit that allows uh, the Vosh people to defend uh, all of this as if it has something to do with trans people. Somebody like Vosh is going to associate your positions with his positions because positions are ideals, morals, ethics, relative shit with no material basis. Like, Vosh is an individual, yes, but he is a popular instance of a problem. And not just the obvious problem, but an underlying ideological problem that will always lead to shit like this. This is my problem with BreadTube. This is my problem with any individual I bring up regarding BreadTube. They are repeatedly selling people on this idea that it's about ethics, which is hilarious because again, 10 years ago during Gamergate, half of these people were around going, look at Gamergate saying it's about ethics. <laughs> I do have a documentary to promote to you. It's coming out on February 24th on the Very Important Documentaries channel. It's called Plato is a Bitch, AI and Bomber Guy. Lots of this stuff feeds right into that. So if you think anything I'm saying here makes sense, there's a whole lot more there. I think that's that's all I, I have for today. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe. Uh, consider becoming a patron. The links for that's in the description. I hope you have a nice day. And uh, yeah, bye.